Hey guys, welcome to Not Just Cheese Steaks, the show about the culinary experience of Philadelphia, aside from my famous sandwich. And today we are at I Ramen in the Liberty Place, and we're learning all about ramen. Check it out. I'm at the prepping station with Craig, the general manager, and I'm about to learn about the makings of a good ramen. I also found out that I, in Japanese, means love, and I love ramen, <laughs> so I'm very excited about learning this whole process, so. Cool, so uh, let me show you. So a lot of our broths and what we sell here is pork-based. Okay. Uh, we have our chashu pork belly, which is slow braised for a few hours with some soy sauce, some mirin, some ginger, a little bit of garlic. That uh, sounds amazing. Actually. Super tasty. Ginger, yeah. mirror, and garlic. Melt in your mouth, my tasty. Favorite flavors. Um, so then, once it cools down, uh, we actually slice it super thin, so that way it's easier to eat in the ramen bowl. Okay. And then we lay it out like this, and we'll actually have some fun with some flames. Oh, fire! <laughs> we get a little sear on it. So okay. this is going to help kind of change the flavor a little bit. A nice sear, caramelization going on. Um, we'll do oh, this across it's the board. That oh looks yeah. Amazing. The flame really builds up when it hits that pork. <laughs> so after we put uh, the flame to the pork and get the flavors bubbling and getting together, what happens next? So after we get it all seared off, we'll keep it in our well to the left, so that way when we go to build ramen, it's all fast it's paced, you don't have to wait for it. Um, we do this every few times throughout the day to make sure that we keep it nice and fresh. And this is traditional. Correct. Oh yeah, chashu pork is very traditional inside of ramen. We keep ours nice, long, and thin. Sometimes you'll see them round, circular shapes. All depends on the restaurant. Okay. Um, another really good thing that we have in all of our bowls for our garnish is our scallions. Ah. Uh, some people always ask me, like, how do you get it so so long and stringy? Like, uh, there's this, this fun fun little tool here. It's a what little scallion spot? slicer. Yep. So it's just a bunch of razors <laughs> at the end of a nice little plastic stick, and okay. we literally just. Hold the greens down, and you're just gonna keep on going. Shreds them nice and thin for you. We'll put them in some ice water, okay. and it'll, the shocking of the ice water will actually take the green and make it stiff and a little bit more bright colored and a nice little crisp garnish on top. And we'll do that for a little bit. Try yeah, See careful, how I it's fear. really sharp. So just hold on to the whites and just do the greens, and you're good to go. Nice little arm workout too. <laughs> oh yeah. Who needs the gym? Just come to I Ramen and get all your purposes done. Food and workout. Okay. That should be enough, right? Yeah, that looks good. I okay. think we'll take it from here. <laughs> um, Next steps. So the other stuff is really simple. We'll have actually our mushrooms that we don't have to do too much prep to. Um, our red ginger comes in pickled and shredded. Our corn we actually roast here. Uh, we'll do a little bit of salt, some pepper, throw it in the oven, get a nice roast on it, and uh, that's pretty much it. Well, all this talking about ramen has me hungry. A little hungry. Yeah, I've worked <laughs> up a bit of an appetite, so I think it's time to drop the noodles and then eat, right? Yeah, let's build some bowls. Okay, Very cool. let's do it. So we get our noodles um, in from a company that makes them fresh, freezes them for us, and delivers them right to us. And how long do the noodles stay? This will take about a minute 30. Oh, okay. Um, Quick. Yeah, super fast. And orders are made, it's made to order, right? Made to order every time. Chocolate we don't we don't right par blanch our noodles, we don't do anything like that. As soon as it's ordered, they, we cook it to order for you. Perfect. Yeah, so it's really nice. Uh, it's not a long wait at all, minute 30 like I told you. It's uh, really quick, nice way to get a fast lunch. 90 seconds can be a really long time though when it smells this good and you still haven't <laughs> tried the ramen. <laughs> Uh, so what we do when the noodles are cooking to make service go a little faster is we actually start building their bowls. So uh, today we're going to do a veggie bowl. Yes. So we'll take a little bit of our shallots and garlic oil as our little bit of a base. And That's for those who like a little bit of spice with their veggie, we I have a little, like a little bit, bit of spice. Of spice with my this is our tabarayu. It's like a chili oil. It's really nice. Adds a little bit of a heat to it, but not overwhelming. A little bit of our veggie broth. Yeah, so then once the bowl's built, we only have about another 40 seconds on the noodle. We'll actually take the veggies and we drop them in the water to get a little bit of a heat on them. Kind of shock them up a little bit, make sure they're nice and warm so, so that way. Yeah. No one likes cold veggies with warm noodles, so it makes sense. Um, so then we're also going to do the miso butter, I okay. believe. So the miso butter gets a little bit of uh, pork oil inside of it just to add a little bit of richness. And then it also does our miso broth, which is just our 
chicken stock, a little bit of uh, pork base, and some miso puree, like a okay. miso dare. So we'll move this over. So what's important when you're doing your ramen is to make sure you're not watering down any of the broths. Because you want to so keep gotta, the flavor You got to keep highlights. the flavor in there. So we shake out as much water as we can, and then right into the bowl. See, another arm exercise. It's That's just, all it it's is. Great. <laughs> Everyone that works here at iRom and learns the technique of how to get the water off the noodle. <laughs> Without getting the water on you. <laughs> exactly, that's key. Uh, so for the veggie, what we'll do once the veggies are in there, like the same thing, we'll try and get that water off there. And then right on top of that bed of noodles. Wow, oh, can you guys see that? So the ramen is just about done and now it just needs garnishes to go on top, right? Yep, that's so exactly right. So what are the right. garnishes? So to finish off our veggie, now that we have our veggies and our noodle and the broth all set to go, is it gets a little bit of the pickled red ginger. It's got a little bit of heat to it from the ginger Yum. itself and then a nice sweetness from the pickle right on top. I love ginger. You can put a little bit more of that You want some there. more ginger? Yes, I do. <laughs> there you go. And then we'll do our scallions that you so graciously did for me earlier. I did. I feel like I did a pretty good job. That goes right on top. We'll garnish it with some fried leeks, which is just another kind of onion. Okay. Right there. And then, of course, Sesame seeds. Sesame seeds. And then there's our veggie. Okay, and for the pork, what do we do? So for our miso butter, um, which is starting to become really popular now, we actually put our two pieces of our pork, which you helped me sear earlier. We go right on top. Okay. And then it gets one of our marinated eggs that we were talking about that sprays in the pork liquid right there. Nice shredded mushroom right on top. Pickle ginger, ginger, some scallions. It's so colorful, which makes it even more appetizing. Really nice and bright. Yeah. Lots of garnishes. Um, and some of the roasted are, corn that you guys Yeah, and that's really popular. Like A lot of people actually like to add it to their veggie, which is Well, I mean, really I, I won't stop you <laughs> if you'd like to just sprinkle that Let's on top. Let's get some in there. All right. And then the garlic butter coins that we were cutting earlier, we also put those oh. right on top. Who doesn't like garlic? Or butter. Adds when a nice little together, richness. That's yeah. even better. That's right. <laughs> and then the last piece, a little bit of ground black pepper goes right on top of the bowl. And that's our miso butter. Well, thank you for showing me how to make it. You now bet. you can show me how to eat it, although I think I might have it figured out. <laughs> <laughs> well, now is the moment that I've been waiting for. I get to try this delicious meal that I helped prepare. So, Craig, what is the proper ramen eating etiquette? A little different than most people might think. It okay. is definitely okay to slurp those noodles down and get on in there and even pick up the bowl and sit down that soup. Yes, <laughs> and I won't embarrass my mom while I'm doing uh, of it. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we should just get in here, right? Yeah, just break those chopsticks, break the chopsticks right apart. apart. And okay, for those who aren't comfortable with chopsticks, we do offer forks. Okay. So at least there's that. Okay, chopstick skills. <laughs> See how we do. There we go. It's a nice little bit of noodle. Mm. Happy dance! <laughs> oh, this is so good. I can taste all the flavors. You get a little bit of the chili oil, plus sure. a little bit of heat. Take some ginger. This is delightful. I'm glad you liked it. Oh my goodness. Well, you helped make it. Yes, I did. <laughs> High five for teamwork. Well, that's all the time we have on My New Philly, where something is always new and, and everything, everything is, is always Philly. Philly.